For our next video on the Tour de Chargers, we're going to talk about the most convenient and most cost-effective way to charge an EV, charging it at home. So we're at our house, and this is how we charge our car probably 98, 99% of the time is it's at the home. standard way. It's yeah, normally you don't have to go to one of those fast chargers unless you're on a long trip. And so we're going to do this video to compare level 1 charging on 120 volt and level 2 charging on 240 volt on both the Fiat 500 and on the Chevy Bolt. Uh, we're going to do kind of the same 10 minutes on each one, so this is probably going to run about the same time as our Volta charging session. Um, this is the most convenient way to charge because it takes me about 15 seconds to go from my car to the plug, back to the car to plug it in, and that's it. I'm filling up for the night. I'm home for the night. I can cook dinner, eat dinner, watch TV. I can sleep, and I get all that time back that people say I waste by going to a fast charger on a road trip, and the amount of time that that saves me is huge. Well, yeah, we don't go to gas stations anymore. There's no more, oh, no, I'm almost out of gas. I have to stop at the gas station on the way home. You know when you get home, you're going to fuel up. Well, we go to gas stations to get, you know, fountain drinks and snacks. But yeah. Well, we like their hot dogs. It's fun to pull up to a gas station with a gas can for the lawnmower in the <laughs> electric car and just dun, dun, and done and you're gone. That's just all there is to it. It's pretty funny. So first thing that we're going to do is come around here. Uh, back in here, you see this nice little... Uh, backpack. And it's more of a backpack than a trunk, right? In a Fiat 500? Right. It's too small to be a trunk. But it's just underneath a this, there's our level one charger that came with the car. So we're going to go ahead and hook that up. This is the Fiat 500e that I take on my commute to work pretty much every day. It's not a long commute, which is why this car is so good for it. Um, usually when I leave the house, the gasometer shows about 88 miles an hour. And then when I arrive at work, it normally shows about 75. If I really wanted to, I could plug in the level one charger. There is an outside plug right next to the door to my building. Um, and I've done that a couple times, but it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, sometimes if I have to do a lot of errands or I feel like I'm low on charge, I can go to a Volta charger that is free in the city where I work in Cleveland, Texas. But um, it's not super close to where I work, so I don't go there unless I really have to. Usually, go to work, come home, uh, no stops in between, and it works out great. Just thought I'd let you know, if anyone's wondering, this is a small air compressor to fill up a tire in case you need it because this car is too small to come with a spare tire. Just so you know, it does not come with a spare tire, but it does come with a pretty nice air compressor to fill up if you get a flat. We're going to do a quick check on car scanner. The Fiat is pretty full, so it's going to get to probably might get close to 100% during this video. Right now, car scanner is showing a state of charge of 94.12%. Battery pack is at 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit because it's a nice day outside. Uh, battery t uh, ambient temperature is somewhere in the, in the low 60s. So I'm going to go ahead and take the J1772 plug that came with the car. If you have one of these 120 uh, level 1 EVSEs uh, for your car, plug it into your wall outlet first before you plug it into the car. With the one that came with the Fiat, it gives us some green indicator lights when it's good to go, and that means that you can plug it in. Just going to open the door. In it goes. And battery power should start creeping up. It made a couple of clicks there. Uh, that means that the charge has started. If you look in the window, in the windshield right here, I don't know if you can get that, but uh, this is a little charge indicator that the Fiat gives us. Each bar is 20% of battery. So if you've got one bar that's solid, you know you've got more than 20%. We've got four bars that are solid because we're at 94. So I've got my 10 minute timer started. The car right now is getting eight tenths of a kilowatt through the 110 level one charger. So we've got to remember that figure for when I plug uh, the level one charger into the bolt, see if it's about the same. So 0 0.81, 0 0.83 is what it's fluctuating to. 
There's the outside temperature, 65 degrees. It says it right there on the bottom. One of the reasons why this is so cost effective for us is because we do live on a piece of property that is very sunny. We don't have a lot of trees and we have solar panels. This is our solar panel conversion box. Um, the solar panels are on the roof, of course. You can see these conduits come down. We have two boxes because we have so many panels. We have 52 solar panels on our roof. So um, this is what converts the solar energy into the energy we can use in our house. And um, this is why we like having EVs. We have not uh, used more power than we've captured. Uh, we've only done that in one month. And that was because we had a really bad uh, winter storm come through. Every other month out of the year, uh, with the exception of December, because less uh, sunlight and it, we had the winter storm, we have produced more power than we've used, and that's plugging in two electric vehicles every day. Yeah. It's a lot of panels, though. Not everyone gets as many panels as we did, but we knew that we wanted EVs, so we made sure that we got as many panels as we could afford. We just hit five minutes on this uh, charge session experiment. <laughs> Our trash truck's coming up, so you're gonna hear him in the background. So a quick update, we're up to 94.9% state of charge. So eh, still haven't gotten a full percent yet. Uh, the car is getting now 0.89 kilowatts through the charger. Battery pack temperature hasn't moved. 65 degrees outside. It's, it's perfect temperature for, for charging an EV. Um, Oh, 0.9 kilowatts we just went up. We'll check back in on this level one charge when we get to 10 minutes. So our 10 minutes is up. We've gone to 95.29% state of charge. The car got up to receiving 9 tenths or 0.94 kilowatts at most. Battery pack temp didn't move. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unplug the level one charger and then I'm going to plug in the level two. This is the plug for our level two charger. I'll tell you more about that in a sec. I'm gonna go ahead, plug it in, and see what uh, happens with car, uh, with car scanner on the car. It takes a sec. And now it's charging. Battery power has already gone up to three and a half kilowatts. We're starting at 95.29%. We'll see if this brings up the battery temperature over the course of 10 minutes. Go ahead and get that 10 minute timer started. Uh, just like we did before, we'll check in at five uh, and again at 10. We're up to 3.6 kilowatts uh, going into the car right now. Uh, and we'll see if, how far we go up on that 95.29%. Uh, percent state of charge. We gained about eight tenths of a percent in 10 minutes off of the level one charger, so this is going to be considerably faster. The level two uh, EVSE that we use is a Wallbox Pulsar Plus uh, charger. We chose this one for a couple of reasons. One, it was what was available at Lowe's, and we had a, Lo a Lowe's gift card that we were using, and so it kind of narrowed our choices down. But we were confident that our choice was a good one because, as you can see, this is not a garage. This has very excellent shielding for being outside. Uh, I've seen um, Tom Malachny on State of Charge spray a water hose on one of these directly and it still works fine. So uh, we're not worried about the elements with this wall box. Uh, it has an app that by App Store reviews is a little buggy, but it I can get it to work. It, sh it tells me how much the car is, uh, is getting. It is adjustable. We have this hardwired into a, uh, into a 240 circuit that's 40 amp. Uh, so I could crank this up to 32 amps and I'd still be fine. But right now it's just set at 18. We don't really need it to go faster than that when we're at home. Uh, my car gets a full charge before I go to work in the morning and when I, I plug in the Fiat when I leave and it gets a full charge before Rachel has to go to work and, and that's just going off of the 18 amps. But we could go faster if we wanted to. Uh, if I bump it up to 24 amps, uh, 27 is about the most the Fiat can take. So I'm going to crank it up to 26 and see how long it takes to, uh, to register what it's doing. Let's do a quick check on car scanner and see what that did. Hasn't done anything. It, there we go, now it's getting a little bit close to four. So I'll just put it back down to where it was and let it behave. Um, there's 
indicator lights in the wall box. Right now it's dark blue. That means that the unit is supplying power to a vehicle. If it's a cyan uh, light teal, it means it's plugged into a car, but the car is not requesting power. If it's green, it's not plugged into anything, but it's in good shape. If it's red, that's bad. Uh, we usually have to reset the breaker on that. Sometimes it Sometimes it does that, but it's not that big of a deal. Just a breaker reset and, it, and it's good to go. We've just cleared five minutes and we'll do a quick check-in. We're up to 96.47% state of charge in this car. Uh, it, we're getting uh, 2.25 kilowatts right now. Battery pack uh, still hasn't moved, but we've gone up a degree outside. So 60, oh, there we go. It just updated. The battery pack is 62.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. So it has gotten a little bit of temperature. Uh, and we're at 66 degrees outside temperature. We'll check in at 10 minutes when we unplug. So we're coming up on the end of our 10 minutes, right there. And we're gonna go ahead and unplug from the level two charger. We were getting 2.32 kilowatts there. We got up to 97.25%. Uh, we were what, 95.29 when we started? So almost two full percent in that amount of time, more than double what we got off of the 120, which is exactly what you would expect. Gee, 140 times two is 240. Um, so 97.25% battery pack temperature went up to 64.4 degrees. So it, it's still not quite as warm as the ambient temperature at 66. Now what we're gonna do is change cars and plug in the level one charger to the Chevy Bolt. Like the Fiat, the Bolt came with a level two charger. It was supplied by the factory. and it's underneath this false floor here, and we've got some extra road type stuff. One of the things that we'll notice in both of these cars, I'm gonna point out, is we each have uh, air compressors uh, with us. The cars don't have a spare tire, so uh, that comes in handy. I don't use this very often, since so we've had the level two charger since I got the car. So this is gonna be the first real time I've plugged it in, but this is the Chevy EVSE. Just like with the Fiat and any kind of level one SE, you wanna plug it into power first, uh, make sure that everything's okay. So it's plugged into the wall outlet before you plug it into the car. Another J1772 plug. You push on the door here, open it up, plug it in. Uh, right now we're at 37.65%, so that's where we're starting. And the car beeped, and that indicates that it's, that it's charging. I've got a little indicator light here that'll flash green when the car is receiving power. Battery temperature is at 62.6 .6 degrees, so if it's anything like the Fiat, during this 10 minute level one charging session, that won't move. Ambient air temperature is at 66.2. And we're going to go from 37 point, well now it's 37.65, and we'll see where we're at. We're only getting six tenths of a kilowatt from this EVSE. And this is the uh, one that came with the car from General Motors. We'll check in at five minutes and give you an update. So we've just passed our five minute check-in point. We're still showing at 37.65%, still getting 0.6 kilowatts from the charger. Battery temp is still at 62.6, ambient air temperatures up to 68 degrees. Uh, while we're at this checkpoint, um, you can see, to, just to explain why I don't usually charge this car on the level one charger, right now it is 10 minutes after 11. It is 11.10 a.m. The car, will tell me how long it will charge until it gets to the pre-programmed charge limit at 80 percent which this car does it to 78 it set to 80 but it only goes to 78. it will take until 9 30 tonight to get to that charge limit plugged in through this charger so that's a lot more hours and there are just some times that i'm not home that long so that's why we needed the level two however during that five minutes we were able to get the fiat charged to 100 percent and i want to show you here uh, on the app from wallbox it tells me our energy insights now the electric company pays us for the extra power we generate from our solar but they pay us at a about 25% less what the rate is, which is gonna work out to eight and a half uh, cents per kilowatt hour that we'll get back from the electric company. So 
figure if we're not getting it back because the car is using it, that's how much it's costing to charge. And that charge session here, it's this one that's at 1048, that 10 minute session, cost us six cents of electricity. And just the other five minutes to get it to 100% went to three, was three cents. Um, a few days ago, Rachel drove this car uh, for a little over 70 miles, uh, got it back at 16% state of charge, and the charge session to fill it up after that was $1.30 for that 70 miles. Figure that with the cost of gas. You can see how this is so much more cost effective. Coming up on the end of our 10 minutes uh, of our experiment, level one charging on the bolt. Uh, unplug, well, first we're still at 0.61 kilowatts. We're unconnect disconnected, unconnected, and you see it went down to zero right there, but we're still at 37.65% state of charge. So I'm going to now take the plug for the wall box and plug it in. And right there, it's gonna take it a few seconds to register. My indicator light is orange on the car. There's the beep, that means that it's taking power. Flashing green light. 2.7, 3.1, 3.5, 3.8, 3.9. There's 4.05 kilowatts now going into the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and start my 10 minute timer and we'll check in at five, we'll check in at 10. Uh, you might ask, why did we charge the Fiat to 100%? Well, if you look at the shot that we took of the instrument gauge, at 100%, the car's got 91 miles of range. And that's not because the battery's degraded, that's just how much range a Fiat 500e has, especially in January when it's kind of been running the heater. Sometimes it'll show us what 100, but uh, the gasometer in the Fiat 500e is usually... Uh, over optimistic on its range and, and uh, given the the type of driving that we do uh, 7580 is pushing it so that car has to go to 100 uh, percent if you look on fiat 500e forums the battery cooling that's in these cars is excellent um, it charges at a low 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 rate so it doesn't put a lot of strain on the battery it's a liquid cooled battery and so battery life on a fiat 500 is great um, so it's it's still it's full strength it's just not a very long range ev it's a uh, it's a city commuter car. This car, however, can easily get over 200 miles at its charge limit of 78%. At 100%, it would be um, anywhere from 230 to 260, depending on the type of driving I'd been doing and the temperature outside. So we'll check in at five minutes and uh, see where we're at. Coming up on our five minute checkpoint on the Bolt, and car scanner is saying that now we're at 38.4% state of charge, getting about 3.9 kilowatts. Uh, battery temp is still at 62.6. .6. And because the car is off, I'm not getting uh, an accurate ambient air temperature reading. If I open the car door and wake it up, there we go. It goes to, it tells me the, the actual temperature. Um, the, it's plugged in, the car wants to take a nap. It's like, <laughs> and, the, and the information doesn't go through. I open the door and it goes, huh? okay, yeah, okay, I got you. So uh, that, that's our accurate. We'll check in here in, uh, at, at 10 minutes at the end of this charge session. Coming up on the end of the 10 minute charge session for this video on the Bolt, and after this video is done, I'm gonna plug it in so it can finish charging while I'm here at home on my day off. Um, check in with car scanner. We are still getting 4.06 kilowatts. Uh, we got up to 39.22%. Ambient air temperature is still negative 40, but wake the car up, it's 68 degrees. Uh, battery temp, 62.6, didn't move. I'm going to uh, go ahead and unplug this and let the, let the charger go down to zero. And I'm going to go into my Wallbox app, let it load select the Pulsar Plus and go into the Energy Insights screen and here is the charge that got 0.79 kilowatt hours over 11 minutes for a cost of seven cents worth of electricity. So that's how long uh, this went. Uh, the car showed what 80 some miles of range and now is at 91. 
I'm going to go ahead and plug the car in so it can finish charging, and we'll end the video here. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, and we'll have some more content coming up shortly.